Uh, special guest now, Australia's richest person. His name is Anthony Pratt. He's the executive chair of Pratt Industries, and he joins us now. So, welcome to the program. Good to see you. Thank you, Stuart. Now, you're putting a lot of money into America. You're putting $2 billion in. You want to create jobs. And you're also putting money into America to double our food production. Let me start with that, doubling food production. What are you doing here? Why? Well, basically, uh, we sell corrugated boxes. Uh, over half of our customers are in the food industry. So as goes them, so goes us. And we started a conversation a couple of years ago with the goal of doubling the food production industry um, as well as uh, exports. And um, I'm here in the Midwest today. We're um, celebrating the fact that beef and dairy exports are up 16 per cent. Well, that's, that's a good number. Um, you obviously see America as a growing and very strong economy. That's how you look at it? Absolutely. I made a pledge to President Trump uh, last year that we would invest an additional $2 billion to create 5,000 high-paying manufacturing jobs, mainly in the Midwest. $2 billion to create 5,000 manufacturing jobs in the Midwest, and that's your commitment to Trump's America. I thought Mr. Trump was not popular around the world. Well, he's tremendously popular uh, with us. He, I think we think that you know, since his tax bill, which uh, the sleeper of uh, the sleeper of that tax bill, of course, was the one-year write-off on investment. Um, I think it's going to lead to a tsunami of investment in the United States. Uh, we make corrugated boxes. Everything that's manufactured goes in a box, and so we think we're a barometer of the economy. You, you, forgive me if I express some surprise. You are America. You are Australia's richest person and you made your money in corrugated boxes, recycled paper, I take it, that's what you made it in. I thought the great fortunes of Australia were made out there in Western Australia in iron ore and natural resources. Where am I going wrong? Well, basically, we uh, have been in... Amer we, we, we have a business in Australia. Um, we came to America about uh, 25 years ago, and we've currently built uh, 70 factories here that employ 8,000 Americans in high-paying manufacturing jobs. Okay. Now, as an outsider, forgive me for saying you're an outsider, because we both have similar accents here, but as an outsider, yeah. looking at the American scene, looking at America and China, it's Xi versus Trump. Who do you think wins? I think that President Trump is focused on reciprocal trade. I think that um, he's very focused on reducing the uh, trade surpluses or the uh, that other countries have with America, or to put it another way, the deficit that America's got with other countries, including China. And I think that um, his, his, his focus is causing companies like, like us to come in, like Apple to come back, uh, stopping companies like Carrier leaving, uh, bringing companies in from Europe. So I think there's going to be a tsunami of investment in the United States, thanks to his leadership. I think there's been a million jobs created since the tax bill. Forgive me for doing this, but I just want to go back to you. You want to double food production in the United States. What investments are you making to double food production? Well, we're starting a conversation around uh, how to double food production. Uh, our, the, the main way that uh, you know, our customers are all in food, so as goes them, so goes us, is that uh, we're focused on the, uh, leveraging America's reputation for safe, clean food overseas by focusing on products not just like wheat and grain, which are the commodities, but more products like beef and dairy and fruit and vegetables and nuts, where food safety is a tremendously important issue. America has the best reputation. Anthony Pratt, Australian. It was great having you on the show, sir. And I, I, I tried not to try to imitate your accent, and I usually do when I'm speaking to Australians. But it was great. Thanks for coming on board, Thank sir. You. We really appreciate it. Good luck. Okay? Thanks, Stuart. Yes, sir.